everybody, it's me again, and welcome to part number 10 of Let's Replay Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. It's been a while, I know, and I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I've been busy with stuff. Like, it's been redonkulous, and I believe... Oh, that guy. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've played this, so I'm sorry, I'm a little out of it. But, um, the last thing we did was complete sequence... What? Are you dumb, or...? Like, seriously, you could have easily gotten away, and then you came back like an idiot. Alright, anyway, we acquired- we made some friends, as Ezio says. Um, we have Claudia, our sister, running the brothels. We have La Volpe, uh, running the thieves. And we have Bartolomeo Dalviano, who's one of my favorite characters, um, running the mercenaries. Uh, for the Brotherhood. So, now we're gonna head back to, uh, Isola Tiberina, I believe, and we're gonna report back to Machiavelli. And I believe I know what's coming. Hello, thieves. Actually, um... I forgot, I have all my HUD off. Ugh. After playing Rogue so much, this is weird. Okay. B to mount, oh my god. <sighs> Give me a moment to get back into the groove of this game, guys. Um, I just got off of Soma, uh, parts 4 and 5. Things are getting good. Things are getting very good, and it's exciting. And also, I mentioned this in Soma, but I didn't really get a good chance to elaborate because, um, uh-oh. Because, I mean, it was a horror game and there was stuff going on. I was sneaking around, creepy things, so. I couldn't go off on too much of a, ch of a tangent. But I've been playing uh, the Battlefront beta for a while, which just uh, started yesterday. And uh, it stops on Monday, which is upsetting, so I only have two or three more days. But, um, oh my god, it's so good for, like, a 100% multiplayer-based game. I mean, there's some single-player versus AI stuff. But, I mean, it's a multiplayer game. There's no single-player campaign or anything. And it is amazing. It is beautiful. And it totally, like... My mom grew up with the original Star Wars trilogy. I mean, she's told me the stories about how when she first saw A New Hope in theaters. And, you know, when it... After, you know, the opening uh, summary or whatever... And, uh, the big Imperial ship flies over the top and it just keeps going and going and everyone, you know, it was back in the 70s. No one had seen, you know, movie graphics like that and how incredible it was. So, so she watched the movies a lot when we were kids, so I would watch them. And so I became a big fan of the original trilogy. Not so much the newer movies. Phantom Menace is okay, but Jar Jar Binks makes me want to freaking slit my own throat. And, uh, but anyway... Clone Wars and Clone Wars was pfft, I don't like that movie and Revenge of the Sith was okay as well but the nothing it doesn't come close to the original trilogy it's just amazing so the, the Battle of Hoth from Empire Strikes Back you totally get to be in it I've never been in a multiplayer server like that yes throwing knives please where is he who sees me get out of here I've never been in a big multiplayer server like that like I mean the only multiplayer I ever really played regularly was Assassin's Creed, and that's eight people to a server. This was 40, up to 40. And the other multiplayer you could do was up to 16. I'd never been in a, in a multiplayer atmosphere like that. And it was amazing. I was flying around on ships and they were crashing in front of me and I was zooming around and trying to avoid all the carnage and getting, I got crushed by an at once. But uh, oh, it was so cool. Oh, I didn't re-equip my hidden blade. My bad. Okay, well now you've just pissed me off. You can't eat me. No regime though. Alright, you know what? No! Oh! Fuck you. Put that crossbow down and fight me like a man! But it was it was amazing. I it was the closest I've ever been. To being in Star Wars. You know, I think every kid who's seen Star Wars has dreamed of, you know, being on Endor and fighting with the Ewoks or fighting against the Empire on the Battle of Hoth. Like, I think everybody's done that. And it's, oh my god, it was amazing. It was like my childhood fantasy was finally happening in front of me and I loved it. I loved it. I loved Machiavelli, it. Machiavelli, we must talk. I'm dripping wet. Yes. But it's okay. I secured something of great worth from one of my contacts. We now have the names of several Templar agents Cesare has recruited to terrorize Roma. Mm. How do I find them? I can give you a general location. I suggest looking for signs of distress nearby. Perhaps you will uncover citizens who can point you in the right direction. 
My contact will continue searching for more names. This information Maybe. came from a city guard. Yes. How did you know? Lucky guess. Lucky guess. Grazie. Claudia, Bartolomeo, and La Volpe are waiting for you inside. I can't imagine how you did it. Virtù, Machiavelli. Virtù, Machiavelli. Virtù. <laughs> I love that when you like inadvertently you influence discover? history. That bastardo Cesare is in the Castel Sant'Angelo with the Pope. My spies tell me that the apple has been secreted to someone for a study. I am working on determining his identity. Caterina will be moved to the prison within the Castello next week. Bene. So the Castello it is. Roma will heal quickly with Cesare and Rodrigo gone. Indeed. Only if the opportunity to assassinate them arises will I take it. Do not repeat your mistake in the vault. You must kill them now. I'm with Machiavelli, Ezio. We should not wait. Bartolomeo is right. They must pay for Mario's death. Do not worry. They will die. You have my word. Okay, so it's like we gotta take care of some Templar agents. And then it's to the Castello, I think. So I wasn't entirely correct. Can I leave now? I can't leave! Oh, do I have to talk to somebody over here first? Oh, I do. Okay, I have to upgrade the hideout. Sir Ezio. Hello. I represent the combined resources of Bartolomeo del Viano, Claudio Auditore, and La Volpe. Through my associates, spread the These architects city, talk way too much. You can channel your floor into any part of the underground you desire. You may have seen notices posted around Rome which allow you to purchase buildings. Income from your new tenants will be deposited with bookkeepers, as well as additional profits from renovation. Bookkeepers can be found throughout the city. Shut up! Molto bene. Jesus Christ! They talk way too much. Like, I'm sorry. But they talk about things that are just... Bleh. And they totally told you that in AC2 as well. And it's just like, that is that dead. You can do this and you can do this. And I'm like, I know, shut up. Ugh, it's annoying. But okay, sequence three out of uh, nine is done. More like eight and a half. Because I believe sequence nine is only the last one. Not, I don't remember exactly. Sorry, my bad. Hey, I got Clash in the Clouds from Bioshock Infinite. That's another thing. I'm a fan of, like, horde modes. Or survival modes, I guess. Which is in the Battlefront beta, which is really fun. And I've played Clash in the Clouds before, but I uninstalled it, so I'm reinstalling it. And, uh, yeah. So, oh. Oh, no, wait. Maybe I am going straight to the Castello, and what he said about the Templar agents was just to unlock assassination contracts. That makes no sense to me. I miss throwing knives. I'm so happy they're coming back. In, uh... In Syndicate. Wait, with that freaking music. Austin Wintery? Oh my god. If that music, it just makes me want to get up and dance like a moron. Love it. <gasps> the Christina mission is right here. Maybe we'll do that just before we head off to save Katarina, if that's what we're doing, which I think is what we're doing, but I'm not entirely sure I don't remember. Okay, either way. Eh, let's go ahead and do a Christina mission, because why not? Where is she? There she is. Hello. I found these accidentally, and I was like, wait, what's happening? But they're they're cute. They're very cute, and they're very sad as well. So, we'll, we'll do them, because they're story-related. Why not? Whoa, I don't remember this. I have to chase down the woman! Why are you running from me? This is symbolic in its own way. Come back! I love you! We shall walk through Cupid's Grove together! Here we go. Firenze, 1476. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay, then go talk to her. Just like that? Talk about what? 
It doesn't matter. See, little brother, most men are so afraid of beautiful girls that anyone who actually talks to them has an advantage. Just make it up as you go. <sighs> the voice of Federico is actually uh, the voice of the main character in Far Cry Primal, which is coming out soon. Very cool. What? <laughs> what? Why are you just standing there? Oh, uh, um, because I wanted to ask you something. He wasn't always a ladies' man, was he? Which is, what's your name? <laughs> Not one you'll ever need to make use of. No! I wasn't ready. I was planning on being really charming and funny. And I just have a second chance. <laughs> oh, well. Ezio, all is not lost. You made her smile. Get she out of my way! No, I can still fix this. I'll follow her away. See where she lives. Oh, wow! Nice photobomb, bitch! <laughs> Jesus! Second chance, follow Christina to seek the renewal of her attentions. Indeed! I am tailing Christina. I think we already read about Firenze, but let's, uh, founded by Julius Caesar in 59 BCE, Florentia, as it was called by the Romans, quickly became a center of commerce. After the sacking of Rome in the 5th century, the Ostrogoths took over. Under their rule, the city was constantly under attack from the Byzantines, who sent the population level below a thousand. Jesus. The Lombards came to power the 6th century, ending the Byzantine assaults. Florentine grew to a population of 80,000 in the 14th century, of which 25,000 were working in the wool industry. In 1378, a major revolt of the lower class led to the wool combers rising up and seizing the government of the city. Their progressive radical de democracy lasted for less than two months before the upper classes seized control once more. But the revolt so terrified the rich that a century later it was still discussed in hushed tones much as the 1960s hippie movements is today. Nice. The Albizzi family became the de facto rulers of, of after the revolt. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. Worried about the rise of the Medici family, who were newly rich bankers rapidly gaining influence in Florence, Maso and Rinaldo Albizzi imprisoned Cosimo de' Medici and exiled him in 1433. But Cosimo gained influence behind the scenes and rose to power in 1434, exiling the entire Albizzi family except for Luca, who had been loyal to Cosimo. Hmm. Luco Albizzi joined the Signoria, the ruling body of Florence, as Gonfaloniere, succeeding Cosimo's old friend Ilario Auditore in 1442. Ooh. Under the Medici family, which built impressive public buildings and supported such luminaries as Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Botticelli, the Renaissance began with Florence securely at its center. Awesome. All right, still following Cristina. It didn't Cosimo, like, visit lots of brothels or something like that? There was something to that. Some brothel database for, uh... Don't bullshit me, she's right there. Just please don't turn around. Oh, she's turning around. No! No! I don't wanna! Bench. Bench. Okay, she's still going. She's still going. She's going now. I'm watching the little yellow doohick get my mouth. Hello? Young women shouldn't be traveling down alleys by themselves. <laughs> Saved it. All right, let's just stay up on the roofs. I th actually think we've read about this already. Built by a distant great-great-uncle of the famous Amerigo Vespucci in 1350, the relatively unpresumptuous Vespucci residence. Blah, 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 Yeah, we read that already. Where's the window that I climbed up into? Was it that one up there? I don't know, maybe. I told you I'm not interested. See, si. What's this guy's name again? But I am. Um, Fieri. I think not, amore mio. I've decided I'm tired of waiting for you to open your legs on your own. This guy belongs in Game of Thrones. Can or, you know, real life, because people suck. What do you want here? This has nothing to do with you. 
Nice to see you too, Miel. I think you're disturbing this young lady's day. I'll beat the shit out of you. Doesn't matter because I've already killed you. Technically! Do it again. I need to counter you. That's the best you can do. Do it again! Shut your mouth! I'll kill you! <laughs> Why am I not surprised to find you forcing yourself on a nice girl? Just like your father's bank treats Firenze. Oh! Your father is the one who needs to learn you will the lesson for interfering. Your whole family will. It's sad because they will. But I will have my revenge. Thank you. That was very kind of you. I know. You're right. I am now. You asked for my name earlier. It's Cristina. Piacere, Cristina. Well, Ezio. Hubba, hubba. Well, Ezio. Looks like you got yourself a second chance. Yay! I think this is like the only happy memory of theirs. Aw, <laughs> oh, seeing AC2 Ezio again feels good. I mean, I just replayed the game for you guys, but still, it's cool. It's like, I've been watching, like, some demos and, tra and the trailers for Syndicate, and, like, I don't, there's something about it that feels different than the most recent games, like, 3 and 4, and even Unity. I don't know, it has this, I mean, combined with the music as well, it has this sort of, like, uplifting charm that I haven't really felt in an Assassin's Creed game since 2. It just, it has that charm, like, where, you know, it's a, it's, it's a serious story. I mean, it's assassins and we're murdering people. But it doesn't take itself too seriously, you know? Because, you know, they joke around and they have sarcastic stuff. And I don't, it's, it, it feels really good. Oh, no! No! 